We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those. Something big about to happen. I hear the beat tapping. We some fly rum and felines rapping on the track. Better yet, grab a gat, cause we hot like. Enzo, doors closed, windows up, cause that's the way we like to ride. Windy City hitting. Check mic 1212. We live, baby. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, it's me, Miss Hip Hop, aka Queen yeah, Star from Speak Your Mind Radio. What up, Chicago? <laughs> Alright, so I just want to talk about this story I recently came across. Uh, UFC fighter uh, Conor McGregor. He had a fight with Dustin Poirier, and he basically just split his whole leg in half. He broke his leg, you know. And it was just crazy because they when they showed the footage, like I didn't even try to like lunge at him, like, you know, and then he missed or whatever. And then he fell back on his own ankle and then it pushed him all the way back, like on the gate or whatever. He was like, dang, like that was very painful to watch or whatever, damn. Look at my cat. <laughs> Get your butt down. You know I'm trying to film. Well, of course, you're going to stay there now. I'm going to wash everything. Anyway, so, yeah, I just thought that was, like, crazy or whatever. And the reason why I thought it was crazy is because when he was uh, fighting Floyd Mayweather, that whole thing, situation was crazy because he had to fight a boxer. Uh, UFC is not the same as boxing. Man. Like, UFC, you get to, you know, kick, and, you know, and hit and you know all that and everything but when you like doing the u.s what are you doing okay he's back on his cat trick great <laughs> anyway so when you doing the uh ufc fighting or whatever you get to do all those things but when you like boxing you know everything comes from the midsection you know what i'm saying because your stamina gotta be correct and so i just thought that was wild for him to even try to fight the king of boxing himself floyd mayweather i'm like dang that's crazy and then on top of that like i didn't like the way he was um showcasing himself mcconnor like he was trying to intimidate uh floyd mayweather and i'm like uh like he kind of looked like he just talking smack or whatever and that's it and then when it came down to this last fight with um justin poirier i'm like oh that really is McConnor's uh, personality is to talk crap or whatever, because let me tell you, like they had fought before, like in 2014. And when they fought in 2014, Dustin won that round, you feel me? And then I think they had a second fight and then everybody was waiting on the trilogy, which would have been this fight or whatever. And people were like, this ain't fair. This not a real fight or whatever, because he didn't end up breaking his leg. So, backtracking a little bit right before the fight as far as smack talking he took it a little bit too far mcgregor brought dustin's wife into the mix talking about oh yeah uh shorty tried to get at me woo, woo, woo. i got the screenshot da, 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 da. i'm like word like let me see that screenshot so he grabbed the whatever screenshot of her trying to request to uh message him or whatever i'm like that's crazy or whatever then like um Dustin had responded in an interview talking about like oh you know that's not real whatever and then here come McGregor tweeting again talking about oh uh well it was true and um that's because um you know your wife is this that and the third and he was like man uh Dustin was like man your <laughs> your your lines is as weak as your hairline he said he was losing hair I thought that was kind of funny or whatever and McConnor got mad and he was like uh no uh yo, yo, you just mad because your wife want to see the uh, hair around my you know bleak bleak genitals or whatever i'm like oh like that's nasty so you know bringing somebody's innocent family members into the mix or their wife or whatever their spouse that's like not cool or whatever because he was like for real serious when he was saying stating those facts or whatever you know what i'm saying so anyway um that was right before the fight that uh the weekend before the fight so then he got this getting into the mix or whatever, and he ended up falling on his own, own ankle, you know? And then what really put the icing on top of the cake of all that, y'all, he was, um, 
<laughs> he was being uh, pushed on the stretcher out into the audience because his leg broke. And this dude still boasting or whatever. Talking about, like, yeah, yeah, like, you like it, you like it. I'm like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> that was definitely not cool or whatever. Like, it was painful, like I said, for me to watch it. I know it was painful for y'all to watch it, too. And for you to still, like, be going at it, like, have it. Like, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? And so what made it really interesting was the fact that guess who had front row tickets to this fight? Yes, you right. Donald freaking Trump. You feel me? And it's just ironic because Donald right now, he trying, <laughs> he tried to get reinstated back into office. Like, dude, it's over, you know? And you know how he do all that tweeting, da, 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 da. And then they shut him down, you know what I'm saying? Big Brother shut him down, like, oh, no, we, we can't have you doing all this uh, erratical tweeting or whatever. And it's funny because, like I said, McConnell be doing the same thing. And so it's like the universe is trying to tell him you need to sit down. Like, for real, you just need to sit down. Like, just stop. <laughs> you know, and so for him to be pushed down literally like that, to fall on his own ankle and to still come out boasting and talking crap or whatever while you on a stretcher. I don't know, man. And people looking for round four, talking about that wasn't a real fight. I, I, what are you looking for? Like what what's next? What what do you want to happen to your to you next? Like literally, do you want your neck to pop out of place? Like I've never seen that before. I don't know, but it's possible. Like just for you to sit down and be quiet and just like if you're going to, like, fight somebody or whatever, don't be walking up to them trying to intimidate them. Like, you can look at the pictures and see that or whatever. And Dustin went back and down. Like, he wasn't scared of the intimidation. He was like, no, nah, you're not going to intimidate me. You can just read it all through their eyes. You feel me? When they were, like, standing this close together, you know? And so, anyway, I thought all of that was just crazy. So, I guess we just going to have to wait and see how long it takes for McConnor to pull through with this broken leg or whatever. It's just like, I would just, I would just have a seat. Like, I just, I would just be done or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I don't have much more to say about it because <laughs> this guy's still tweeting from his hospital bed. They need to shut him down, like literally, but um, I'm not worried about it because the universe is doing its justified duty. So, uh, yeah, y'all be on the lookout for round four. <laughs> that should be the last and final round, like seriously. This dude needs stitches in his mouth, for real. And he from, he from, um, he from Ireland, I believe. He's Irish and uh, Dustin, and he's an American UFC fighter, so yeah. I don't know. It just seemed like he just trying to intimidate him from because he's from a different country, too. I don't know. It's just crazy. I don't know. Like, just stop the madness. Be quiet. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'll talk to you later. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this uh, video because I sure did. I'm just drinking a little tea. Zen life, okay. All right, y'all. Uh, don't forget to, if you want to see this video, it's on YouTube on the Speak Your Mind Radio. If not, just listen, like you've been doing, which is great. Thank you so much for that listenership. I, I always appreciate it. So, yeah. Check y'all out later. Peace. <laughs> mm -mm -mm.